Welcome back to Underage Packers. We're back in the Lambeau Field parking lot, my new favorite filming space. Behind me today is the Don Hudson Center, where the Packers will uh, practice right behind there at Ray Nitschke Field. Today I wanted to talk about the running feet back three battle. Uh, what I saw at practice yesterday, there's a handful of young guys, uh, draft picks, practice squad guys that have been on the team for the past year or two uh, that have a really good chance of being in the running back depth chart behind Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. Uh, I'd say my favorite prospect right now was Kylan Hill, a uh, seventh round draft pick out of Mississippi State. Shout out to Oz, uh, big fan of Kylan Hill. Uh, I think he, he has a really good chance at making the roster. He really stood out to me yesterday. He's a really tough runner, uh, really good build, good in the receiving game as well. So I definitely think uh, him being a draft pick, they're prior, prioritizing him. Uh, maybe have a, a better chance, in my opinion, the best chance at making the 53-man roster for the Packers at that running back three position. Some other candidate, uh, candidates, they have Patrick Taylor, who was hurt all of last year, but they signed him as an undrafted free agent after the 2020 draft. Uh, a pretty similar build to Kylan. He's a little bit taller. Um, yesterday, he, he was a, the most tough runner, uh, even better than Kylan. Uh, he struggled to get yards, but he was running with the second, third team offensive line. Um, but he, he did look like a, a pretty good candidate to uh, stay on the practice squad for me, but I don't think he has the best chance at making that 53. And finally, Dexter Williams had a really rough practice yesterday. Um, hasn't been able to get it going all of his career, uh, so I don't think anything is going to change this year. But overall, I think uh, Kylan Hill has the best chance, seventh round draft pick. Uh, will certainly be interesting how they utilize. Uh, I'll be looking today to see how they utilize all those guys in the receiving game and all of that good stuff. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this camp battle. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you later. As always, go back, go.